Hey accounting students, Mrs. Lamphere here coming at you with Unit 8, Section 4's assignment, um, completing the accounting cycle for a merchandising corporation. Part 1 is pretty simple. All you have to do is go through and add the steps of the accounting cycle listed here. You need to just put them in the correct order, 1 through 10 over here. Um, I believe your text uh, goes over that very well, even on the very first page, so check out your text if you need some more help with that. And then part two, we talk about um, closing out uh, accounts, which you should be a little familiar with from accounting one. We use uh, income summary to close out some of our temporary accounts and then move that amount from income summary over to our um, owner's equity. So they've given you here, uh, this is the income statement portion of Info Software's worksheet, and so we need to journalize these the closing entry the closing entries for these accounts. So, what we need to do first is close out all of the accounts with a credit balance. Let's do those first. So, if you'll remember, uh, back in Accounting One, when we closed out our temporary accounts, if they had a credit balance, then we did a then we debited that account for that same amount in order to zero it out. That's exactly what we're going to do again here. So over in our journal we need to journalize these closings. So we say to start off with we have sales and we're going to debit that account for 97000 to get it closed out. And we also have purchase discount with a credit balance. mistyped there and we're closing we're debiting that account for 500 and then we also have purchase returns for 1500 okay so then we add those amounts together and then we credit that amount to our income summary and it's adds up to 99,000. Okay, so now we've just closed out all of those accounts because we transferred that money over to our income summary. So that should be somewhat familiar to you. So now you need to go through and do the same thing with um, the accounts that have debit balances. You're going to need to credit those amounts and then debit that total to income summary. And then we need to close our income summary accounts. So You'll have this credit amount of income summary, and you'll want to subtract out whatever debit amount you get for income summary. And then um, we will transfer that difference. I don't want to say too much here and give it away, but we'll transfer that difference into an account called retained earnings. Okay, so I'm going to just put that over to the side here. That uh, the account we're going to transfer balance of income summary is going to be transferred over to retained earnings. So you'll have that journalization down here. So again, we just closed our accounts with credit balances. You need to go through and close the accounts with debit balances, crediting your income summary. And then you need to go and close your income summary. You need to figure out what your balance for income summary is and then close that over to retained earnings. Alrighty. Uh, refer to your text if you have any questions. Pages 5 and 7 of Unit 8 are very helpful with this. So you can look there or you can um, get a hold of me if you have any other questions. Thanks.